responding to why there are no male allies. Quote, where are the male allies, unquote, is a question I've seen asked relentlessly for the past 24 hours, and it leaves me confused. How can the political left spend years and years berating and mocking men, calling us toxic, comparing us to bears, and denying our lived experiences, only <clears throat> then to scratch our heads when, quote, we fail to show up, unquote. How was it, Hammer? How did they do that, Hammerhead? I mean, I think it's pretty fucking easy. They they do it consistently, constantly. Yeah. Do you, what, you want examples? It's kind of like when a gang of thugs is trashing the local bakery every day and then act confused when a cake doesn't arrive on their birthday. Pretty much. So let's talk about what an ally actually is. Allyship goes both ways. I hate that word. Oh, hate yeah, that word. it's disgusting. Filthy fucking commie word. I can't deny that there are so many people who have mocked me, shouted me down, <clears throat> wrongly accused me of things, tried to make my life a misery, and kicked and screamed every step of the way are now the same people asking, my, questioning my allyship, pretty much. I don't know why any woman thinks I'd support abortion after what I've been through. Now. Yeah, no doubt. Now, uh, I am pro-abortion for leftist bitches. I'm pro-life for my bitches. Right. Well, you've said that multiple times. Mm -hmm. Those hoes don't need to have kids, no ways. Nope. Goddamn. These people won't even acknowledge the issues I discuss here even exist, let alone do anything about them. And yet you think it's me and those like me who are poor allies? The narcissism and ignorance of such leftists will be the death knell that buries us all. I don't think these people even want male allies because allies support each other. What they want well, is a vassal state. No, Hammerhand said it many times. They want slaves. They want yeah. slaves. And it's not going to bury everybody. It's only going to bury certain people. Mm. You know, and that, that they have elected to go down that road. So if you're determined to go jump in a coffin, uh, I'm going to let you. Mm. A subordinate, they want a subordinate to do as they're told. To silently withstand the heckling, harassment, and abuse and shut up about their own problems. So where are the male allies? Well, we're right here. Where are you? Okay, Hammerhand. Old school. Red pill, MGTOW, talking point. Where do feminists and simps want to send men? Um, to their death, to war. What's the word? We they, the, the metaphor they use. They want to send you back to the... What, the plantation? Yep, the plantation. Oh, yeah. So yeah, absolutely. The way women treat men and send them to the plantation is the same way leftists treat men. Because the yeah, left well, is an inherently feminist sphere. Yeah. The, the left, we have a lot of gynocentrism in everything, and it's, it's natural that you're going to have that bleed off. But uh, the left is almost inherently made up of gynocentrism now, currently, today. Mm -hmm. yeah, it didn't start out that way, and it still has some deep fucking roots but, in where it started. But gynocentrism is all over it. Anti-whiteism is all over it. Male disposability is all over it. Pro-woman, rah, 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 the darker, the blacker, the better is all over it. So, you know, I mean, people have fucking eyeballs. They can see. You like this mean? You're, I'm not looking at it yet. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's a good one. Oh, my boy, involuntary celibate says they spent years berating and making fun of men for yeah, being in like a bad him. situation, and now they're expecting male allies. That's laughable. I like the other incel yeah. guy. He said, "You're not gonna have sex. Fuck you. I'm an incel. <laughs> Eat yourself." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that was kind of funny. I like that. Here we go. America came this close to being ruled for a thousand years by women like this. It would have been a matriarchal tyranny more oppressive than the darkest Neolithic farming community. Those weren't dark because bolstered by advanced technology of surveillance. Let's just watch this politician. So um, let's see this. Bye bye, Donald Trump. We are turning the page. A fucking lunatic. She looks like a. She looks like a zombie from Night of the Living. Not Night of the Living Dead. Uh, gosh, what was it called? Return of the Living Dead. Where the zombie oh, was all, in the uh, the gas chamber thing and got out. Yeah, it's all in the eyes, man. The one that Just, said I mean, brains. That one. Brains. Yep. These bitches are fucking insane. Fifty-two days and we are turning the page. Fifty-two days and bye, bye, bye. 
Yeah, the country wouldn't last a thousand years with her in charge. It wouldn't last a thousand days. Mm-mm. It wouldn't. I mean, it's that's a fucking fact. It wouldn't. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know how to convince you to care about other people. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I, I noticed they omitted a person or two. <laughs> well, they only well they they they're talking to white men, right? I don't know how to convince you to care about other people. Um, maybe care about white men, and I'll return the favor. I mean, you know, that'd probably have something to do with it. Instead of calling them incels, mm. trying to get cops to murder them at fucking movie theaters. Yeah. You know. Who do I, what what living beings in this picture do I care about? I can point out two. Uh, well, the dog. Yep. And, uh, hmm. It's hiding. Probably, the, like, hiding. the fetus. In, no, the, the white-haired chick right there. The, the cat. The pussy. The, the pussy. Cat. The cat. It's the cat. Oh, shit, I didn't even see the fucking cat. Yep, he's hiding. <laughs> Amber doesn't know how to find the pussy. Yeah. Oh. No, no. I thought that he was gonna uh, he was gonna pick the white haired girl next to the pock there and reintroduce her to her Viking origins. Uh, now look at the nose. That's a that's a mud. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go through the list here. Should it be in my country? Anchor baby. Likely to drug me. Uh, um, likely to carjack me. Spread syphilis to the black community right here on the top right. <laughs> um, crazy narcissist. <clears throat> this chick uh, screams in my face for being white. The dog. Is that a chick? Uh, Not well, sure. I, you know, I don't know. The dog. Um, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> this guy is, that, needs to be, needs a rescue. <laughs> yep. This guy sells fentanyl. Um, this little black girl. You know what? Kids get a pass. A pass for her. Pregnant black chick uh, on her way to Planned Parenthood. Um, yep, kill the this kid. This is a trans child. I feel bad for him slash her slash it. Cat's cool. Terrible. Um, Greta Thunberg here needs to you know go away. <laughs> and then brown face Hillary Clinton. Uh, stop abusing yep. children, please. Yep. Yeah. The the last of Big Mama's clan. Yep, I said, stop hating white men first. Then maybe I'll listen. Yo, look, they all have the same face. They literally oh. all have the same face. Holy well, they do in real there. life, too. Even, so, you even know. the white girls have an African-looking nose. <clears throat> look, we talk about that all the fucking time. Why do these people always look alike? You know it'd be funny? If they gave the dog the African-looking nose. <laughs> Just go for it. Just go for it. 